Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Nico from RB Mods. I'll be unpacking the Razer Black Vito mechanical keyboard today. As you see that it's well packed, it was covered with a plastic cover. Uh, empty boxes to basically keep it in place. And let's see if we can get it open. This mansion has quite a bit of box. Keeps it all in place. Yep. Inside, there's always a folder with a bunch of stuff from Razer, so certification, and authenticity, authenticity uh, whatever, manuals, all this stuff that nobody really looks at. And let's see if we get the plastic off. It's well packed for sure. There we go. We get the final plastic off. Uh, we have the keyboard itself, uh, braided or sleeve cable, whichever you want to call it. We have two USB connectors, one for the power to the keyboard itself, one for the LEDs I'm sure. We also have a headset and mic cables because you'll be able to connect your headset and mic to the side here. We also have a USB port you can power up. Um, keyboard itself, uh, macro keys to the left. I'm unsure which uh, Cherry MX switches this one have, but, uh, or has, but I'll be able to tell you later on in the review. They're kind of clunky. Okay. Um, maybe Cherry MX Red or similar. Perhaps brown, I don't know. Uh, anyways, we'll figure that out. On top you have various media functions, volume controls, fast forward and turn on, whatever. And there's an LED controller button. You have the FN button that triggers all the media functions up here. Otherwise, uh, very nice looking keyboard. You have a normal noon pad on the side. Um, normal stands. Six, actually five, rubber paddings on the bottom to keep the keyboard in place. And a nice little black, glossy black finish on top. So you'll see your wrist marks, you'll see your fingerprints and whatever, but it's constant cleaning with these glossy things. But they look nicer, so... Anyways, uh, I'll be testing this for a week or so, and then I'll bring out the results and see what we thought of this. Thank you for watching.